question. Um, the speaker's corner recently turned 10 years old, um, just couple, I mean, just last week. And uh, um, my question is, how meaningful are such formal platforms to the everyday Singaporeans? And are young Singaporeans especially looking to other alternatives that are more meaningful to them? Singaporeans who feel that they want to speak up can go and do so. And many have done so on a variety, a wide variety of subjects. And, um, and, and they're, they're, they're free to do so. I think it's a great success. They have a platform, and it is a platform in which they can speak, but in which it is also done in an orderly way so that you don't interfere with the lives of other Singaporeans who may not be interested in what you want to say, but who want to carry on with their lives. So you have an opportunity, anyone who wants to speak on any particular subject, so long as it doesn't cause, uh, you know, it doesn't touch on sensitive issues and so on in Singapore, it has an opportunity to go and speak. That's what uh, we, we have, uh, people have asked for, and I think that uh, this need is being met today. There are also many other avenues uh, out there um, where uh, people are free to express their opinion. Uh, the internet is uh, one of them, but it doesn't mean that all rules of, uh, all laws are suspended. It doesn't mean that all normal rules of politeness and proprietary also, proprietary also suspended on the internet. I mean, if we want to conduct a, a, a useful discourse, I think that discourse needs, by, by, it needs to be polite, respectful of each other, and also to be constructive. I know that there's a lot of um, discussion out there which doesn't meet these standards, and so I hope that over a period of time that uh, we will have a more mature discourse in these various channels as well.